It's time. Hey guys, Jennifer here, and in today's video, I'm back with four fun and creative lunch ideas. And you guys, these lunches don't include any boring sandwiches. So whether you're looking for lunch ideas for school, for work, or just to make it home, these lunches are super easy to make and picky eater approved. Now, if you caught last week's video, you'll know that in honor of Mother's Day, the kids took over and they made lunches for each other. Now, I think they did such a great job. But of course, this week I'm back and I'm going to make these lunches in age order from my youngest kiddo to my oldest. And that means I'm kicking things off with a lunch for Griffin. And for his lunch, I'm going with kind of a Taco Bell theme with a twist. Now you guys, let me know down below if you've ever tried Taco Bell before. And if so, let me know what is your go-to order. For Griffin's main course, I'm going to start by making him a quesadilla of my own design. Now, as far as I know, Taco Bell doesn't sell a quesadilla like this, but I think they should. So far, I've just spread a thin layer of the Taco Bell beans right onto my low carb tortilla. Next, I'm going to add a good layer of cheese. This is a mixture of Monterey Jack, cheddar cheese, queso quesadilla, and asadero cheese. Next, to give this a more of a Taco Bell flavor, I'm going to add some of the mild Taco Bell sauce, but I'm not gonna add too much. And of course, this is very mild, it's not too spicy at all. Now, for a bit of a crunch, I picked up these Santa Fe tortilla strips. These are crispy tortilla strips, and they're seasoned with onion, garlic, chili pepper, and lime. But again, these are not too spicy. They're not like Takis or anything like that. And technically, these are meant to go on top of salads. But I think that these are going to be really tasty added into quesadillas. And they would be really good added to burritos as well. Now, this next part is optional. I could just cook this in a regular pan. But recently, I picked up this really cute quesadilla maker. Now, personally, I love kitchen gadgets. So I can't wait to give this a try. I also think this might be a really fun way for my kids to make quesadillas for themselves. They won't even have to turn on the stovetop. To go along with this quesadilla, I'm also giving Griffin a little container of guacamole. And then in this other container, I'm adding a bit of sour cream. And then in with the sour cream, I'm also adding just a squirt of that Taco Bell sauce. For Griffin's fruit, first I'm adding some sliced strawberries, and to go along with those, I'm also adding some mango. Now this one is not super ripe, so I'm hoping he's gonna like it. Next to that, I'm going to add some of these cucumber fries, and then for a crunchy snack, I'm going to add some of these queso-flavored popcorners. Now I know these kind of look like Doritos, but they have more of a rice cake texture. These do have a really good cheesy coating, but they're not too spicy at all. Next, for Griffin's sweet treat, I'm going to give him some of this rice pudding. And then lastly, for his drink, he's gonna be getting some water and this little box of apple nectar. And now that is everything in Griffin's lunch. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and pack this up 
and check out this lunch bag, you guys. I love this. It has little tacos, little bowls of beans, some chilies, and some chips on here. I love this bag. Okay guys, next up, I'm making a lunch for Lily. And for her, we're using these Snack Time Shopkins as inspiration. So this is definitely gonna be more of a snacky style lunch. For Lily's main course, I'm going to make some DIY Lunchables. First, for the ham, instead of cutting it into circles like you'd find in a traditional Lunchable box, I'm just going to roll up each slice, then cut each roll into three pieces, then I'll add those to some food picks. Next, for the cheese, I'm gonna add the sharp cheddar cheese because that is Lily's favorite, and I'm just gonna cut these into frilly circles. Now, instead of adding Ritz crackers to go along with these, I'm going to add some Cheez-Its. Now, this Shopkins is technically a Cheez-It duo, and that has half crackers and half popcorn. But you guys, I can't find this type of Cheez-It anywhere near me. So instead, I'm gonna add these Cheez-It duos. This one actually has half cheddar and half Parmesan crackers. Next, for Lily's fruit, first I'm adding some strawberries to go along with this super cute strawberry Shopkins. And then this pack of Shopkins also came with a blueberry one. So I'm going to add some blueberries in with these strawberries too. And now you guys, these cupcake toppers aren't officially Shopkins, but they do look a lot like Shopkins. So I'm just going to add the popsicle one in here for decoration. For Lily's veggie, since we got the carrot Shopkins, of course I'm adding in some carrots. But for these, I went ahead and cut them into star shapes. And you guys, since this is Lily's lunch, I'm not going to forget the ranch to go along with the carrots. Now, in this pack of Shopkins, there were a lot of different sweet treats to choose from. But the one that Lily liked the most was this Pop-Tart. I'm going to go ahead and add some of these strawberry Pop-Tart bites. I just think they fit a lot nicer into the lunchbox. And then last but not least, for her drink, Lily will have water but she's also getting this raspberry lemonade good to grow with the Apple Blossom Shopkins Topper. Now I don't actually have an official Shopkins lunch bag, but I do have this one and I think it totally goes with the theme. Okay guys, now that brings me to a lunch for Jackson. And for him, I'm making a one color lunch and you guys can probably tell that the color is green. Now personally, I love making one color lunches. It is such a fun challenge and I've made quite a lot of them over the years. I do have to say, however, I'm not a huge fan of making blue or purple lunches. Those ones are really hard because there's really not a lot of blue or purple foods that occur naturally that my kids would want to eat. Green, however, that's one of my favorite color challenges because it's pretty easy to find only green foods. There really are so many to choose from. For Jackson's main course, I'm going to make some tortellini. Now I know what you're probably thinking, these are not green, but I'm actually going to make them green and I'm going to do this by hopping on the cottage cheese trend. Now I've been seeing so many recipes using cottage cheese lately like cottage cheese ice cream and cottage cheese toast, but I'm gonna make this cottage cheese into a creamy, delicious green sauce to go on the tortellini. In my mini food processor, I'm going to add about one cup of cottage cheese, 
This of course has a ton of protein in it. And then to this, I'm going to add a teaspoon of garlic powder, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and an eighth of a teaspoon of pepper. Now I'm just going to mix this up until completely smooth. To this, I'm going to add about one cup of store-bought pesto. And you guys, the Costco pesto is our favorite. It is so good. I definitely recommend you give this a try. Now I'm just going to blend this all together until smooth. And you guys, this really does make a nice thick green sauce, but I do have to warn you, mine came out pretty garlicky. So if you are not a fan of garlic, you should probably just leave out that garlic powder since pesto itself does have some garlic already. So while I was making the protein pesto sauce, I also went ahead and boiled up my bag of tortellini. Check it out you guys, this is super saucy and it smells so good. For Jackson's fruit, he's getting some green grapes. And some kiwi. And to go along with those, some baby cucumbers. For a bit of a sweet treat, I put together some pistachio pudding. First, I just mixed it up with some milk and I put it in the fridge to set up. Now, sometimes when I make pistachio pudding, I would add Cool Whip and shredded coconut and marshmallows. Let me know if you've ever had pistachio pudding like that before. But this time instead, I'm just going to mix in some vanilla Greek yogurt. And now before I add this to my container, I'm just gonna crumble up some graham crackers and add them right to the bottom. To go along with this, I'm also adding some veggie chips, but just the green ones. And then on the side, Jackson's also getting a little bag of real pistachios. And to drink, a lemon lime prime hydration drink. And this is kind of like Gatorade. Now, of course, I'm gonna put this in Jackson's green Minecraft bag and that is all there is to it. Okay guys, next up, I'm making Mackenzie's lunch. And for her, I don't really have a specific theme. However, she told me that she really liked those pizza cupcakes I made for lunch a couple of weeks ago. So she asked me if I could make those again. So for her main course, I'm going to make something very similar, but a little bit different. These ones actually have meatballs. I like to call these meatball cupcakes. Now this recipe is going to make 16 of these meatball cupcakes and the meatballs I'm using are fully cooked but they're frozen. So I'm just gonna go ahead and count out 16 of them and I'm going to pop them in the microwave for about a minute and a half just to defrost them. Next, I'm going to take a can of the flaky biscuit dough and you guys, if I wasn't using these silicone liners, I would make sure to spray my muffin pan really well so that nothing sticks. Now I'm just going to pull each biscuit apart as evenly down the center as I can. And once that's done, I'm just going to press the dough into each little section. Now I want to make sure that the bread layer has lots of flavor. 
So I'm gonna sprinkle each one with just a little bit of this no salt added garlic and herb seasoning. Next comes the cheese. And for this, I'm actually going to use a few mozzarella sticks. I'm just gonna chop those up and add some to the bottom, followed by one of the defrosted meatballs. And I'm really gonna have to push these down in here to make them fit. Next, I'm adding a spoonful of marinara sauce. And then right on top of that, I'm adding more cheese. And this is actually an Italian blend. So there's mozzarella, provolone, asiago, and Romano cheeses in here. Now I'm just gonna add one more sprinkle of that herb and garlic seasoning, and then these guys go in the oven. Now these take about 15 minutes at 350, and these would be great if you made them for dinner and then packed the leftovers for lunch the next day. So now that these have completely cooled down, I can go ahead and add them to Mackenzie's lunchbox. And for her fruit, she's getting a cutie mandarin, some heart-shaped strawberries, and some grapes. Then I'm going to load her up with some baby carrots. These ones are getting a little bit old, so I really wanna use them up. And then on the side, I also picked up this Caesar salad pack. First, I'm adding in the lettuce. Next, I'll add on some croutons. And then just for fun, I'm also adding some cheese stars. And then instead of Caesar dressing, I'm actually gonna add some Italian dressing from Olive Garden. Now that brings me to Mackenzie's sweet treat. I'm gonna throw in some of these Italian rainbow cake bites. Now you guys, I am not always a fan of these cake bites, but these ones smell so good. They smell like almonds and cherry and chocolate. If you are a fan of that combination, you would probably like these. And now last but not least for Mackenzie's drink, she's getting water, but also a Martinelli's apple cider on the side. And then you guys, I'm just gonna pack her lunchbox in this really cute food themed bag. There's pizza and hot dogs and donuts and fries on here. It's really cute. Now you guys, let me know in the comments down below which one of these non-sandwich lunches was your favorite. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next week.